and then there were six, just six Democratic presidential candidates on stage tonight, the last debate before the Iowa caucuses three weeks away. A mostly substantive debate, with each candidate getting more time because there were just six of them. All this with the specter of them running against an impeached president. I went to see reporter Josh Einder with highlights from tonight's debate. Josh. Bill, those six highest polling Democrats appear tonight on stage in Des Moines, the top four among them, all basically even in the polls. And generally tonight, they engaged in a polite and substantive debate, of course, with a few exceptions. Tonight, things got a little awkward on stage between Elizabeth Warren and Bernie Sanders. In 2018, you told her that you did not believe that a woman could win the election. Why did you say that? Well, as a matter of fact, I didn't say it. Senator Warren, what did you think when Senator Sandu Sanders told you a woman could not win the election? I disagreed. Look at the men on this stage. Collectively, they have lost 10 elections. The only people on this stage who have won every single election that they've been in are the women, Amy so and me. It was the much anticipated but rather anticlimactic confrontation between the dueling progressives, whose campaigns have sparred viciously behind the scenes over the past few days. But it took 45 minutes to get there. Instead, it was last week's fireworks in Iran that took center stage. I was part of that deal to get the nuclear agreement with Iran, and look what's happened. He went ahead, and it was predictable from the day he pulled out of that agreement, Trump, what exactly would happen. I think right now what we should be talking about, though, Wolf, is what is happening right now with Donald Trump. Uh, Donald Trump is taking us pell-mell toward another war. By gutting the Iran nuclear deal, they have made the region more dangerous and set off the chain of events that we're now dealing with as it escalates even closer to the brink of outright war. There is no real strategy that we're trying to accomplish in what we're doing in the Middle East. Obviously, Mr. Trump has no strategy. The two great foreign policy disasters of our lifetimes were the war in Vietnam and the war in Iraq. And right now, what I fear very much is we have a president who is lying again and could drag us into a war that is even worse than the war in Iraq. Complicating matters is the Trump impeachment trial set for as early as next week. The three senators in the race, Amy Klobuchar, Bernie Sanders, and Elizabeth Warren, all have to return to Washington, where they'll be stuck between now and the Iowa caucus. That means the other candidates and those not on stage will have all that time to make personal pleas in this up-close and personal state. And that could make more of a difference than anything anyone said tonight. Sade.